okay guys um it's a little bit heavy not like it's heavy it's lightweight but it's heavy at the same time because this same me hmm, i came here and i told you that these persons they are together forever once we ever ever separate them i said it i know if you go through our videos that's for people that have been here for a while remember that video i did that just now that i said nigerian celebrities who will never break up who will be together forever these people they have shown me that I trust nobody because you know they say that they spoil somebody's face uh -huh. they ban my ojuje but i mean it's not just us a lot of us are shocked when they announced their separation so this video this same me that said they will not break up i have come to tell you that this set of nigerian celebrities oh they have broken up they have shocked us and they have said we should not help them to plan their life it is theirs they will do whatever pleases them at whatever stage and phase of life that they are in so welcome guys to this channel and in this video i will be talking about nigerian celebrities whose breakup whose end of marriage actually shocked us to the bones if i say so myself and topping the list is going to be jj's skills that is um bello and funke akindele bello these guys were together for about six years four five six years now and they have a twin child between them they have twin children between them and honestly i did feel their relationship was a match made in wherever they met but it was really amazing to see them together they showed so much love you know why i actually felt like they would be together for a long time because they had so much business dealings together they had seen one production together they co-directed they mixed their businesses together to make a conglomerate but it wasn't i mean that was what they were showing us in public it wasn't until now jam pepe scatter scatter that we now got to know that most of these assets that they did own was controlled largely by funke akindele so it was more of a woman company but because she's married she had to introduce her husband who is also an ace director i mean jj's skills is an og when it comes to directing my earring just fell off while well, we continue let me remove this now who earring had before Let's continue the story since the gist that really really saw you to know that it shocked my body so let's keep going that's how um it's actually a one-woman business so but because she's married to just skills who is a very good person in the industry an og artist producer and what have you they had to merge that business together but somehow just skills felt i don't know what that story is because none of them had um neither of them have granted an interview to exclusively say this is what went wrong in the relationship or the marriage we only have hearsays and what have you especially from funke akindele's stepson who is um just skills own son who came out to say a lot of things concerning the relationship between his father and his stepmother but that is it just skills and funke akindele split and funke akindele is now funke akindele ayotunde net so that is what she calls her production company now and they've made a movie under that name she co-directed that movie with one of her uh what should i call him now one of the persons she raised in the industry toby mckinney they co-directed battle on Booker street under the platform of funke akindele ayotunde network so there is no we no longer have seen one you understand why i said they'll be together forever Seen one was the bomb it was the hit so well God be with you till we meet again. God bless their union. I hope that they are able to co-parent their children together in a very loving way and we wish them the very best. Now, moving on from the Akindele or moving from, from Akindele and Belo, let's talk about another couple that really, really did shock us in the Nigerian um, um, movie industry to be very, no, not movie, the entertainment industry is actually going to be very large list, a very broad list. Um, um encompassing all of the entertainment industry and persons who are you know into entertainment and i'm also going to talk about Wubin Toriola and her abroad husband now when Wubin Toriola got married in 2012 nobody heard the word she she was quite um secretive about it a lot of us did not even know she was dating let's not talk of you know she was going to get married but she did get married and i think that was 20, it was 2012 or 2014 now one of the two years i think 2014 most likely she got married and it wasn't until you know she had already gotten married that we got to know about it. the wedding pictures hit the internet and we're like oh yeah that's great for her she kept that private because you know majority of her life is already in the public eye so she kept her marriage very private she got married to an abroad based man and together they have a child zion together but she announced very recently less than a week ago how um actually 
yeah, let's know we got to say that. Well, it's been um, in the news for a couple of years now. Persons of insane is that it seemed like we need to realize marriage has ended. But a uh, year, our marriage has ended and it has been over for over a year. She's no longer with her husband. And what prompted her to say it was because this man was beginning to toast another lady. And even told the lady that, oh, well, the person he was with is dead. Not just that, he even said that she used to be, she used to beat him. I think he's, okay. Let me not say I think, because I don't know what side is the truth. If she was indeed violent or if Mitriola coming to debunk and say she never raised her hands against the man, his own mother, or her own mother who is who has been dead for 20 years, Steph. I mean, I feel like that part, yeah. It might be some, you know, far-fetched imagination of the husband trying to bank on the fact that Umito Riola is known to be very, you know, violent in her movies. Not violent, very I think that's like for lack of a better word in our movies so trying to depict that in in reality that that is who she is to so his love interest which then in turn cost the person to put it in public and then women to realize got to know about it and that was what made her announce the end of a marriage because she had kept it quiet um private for over a year now do you understand the gist of that so she said that her mother has been late for over 20 years so how will i beat the woman that is dead how will I even beat my own mother-in-law? Not to talk of my husband. I am a very gentle person. Our family members, our neighbors, and you yourself can even testify to the fact that I was never abusive towards you. So that really did shock me because I didn't think that she was going to ever leave the man. She has fought other women. She's fought her friend over this uh, marriage. So it's like, well, what we be, we be. Glory. 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 Moving on from Mumito Riola, let's talk about this couple who also shocked us basket mouth and his wife yes uh, lc okocha and bright okocha ended their relationship their marriage of over a decade in the most shocking manner and it was so shocking because he never addressed it prior he just released a statement to say that i have left my wife we are no longer together thank you for your understanding goodbye and that's it Nothing more, and everybody's like, oh, what? It did happen, even though they had granted interviews to say that we'll never leave ourselves. But I guess things happen. I want to hear from you in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this couple that I've, I mean, I have some other persons that I'm going to list, but I'm going to leave it to you to do the work for us. I mean, this time, bring this to now. Uh -huh. In the comment section, let me know what you think, and I'll um, see you in the next one. And bye.